Thanks very much for joining us for yet another installment of the Two Minute Guitar Lesson brought to you by Five Towns College. In this new lesson, we are going to go over some of the phrases of one of my favorite guitar players, and that would be Stevie Ray Vaughan. And uh, if you can, download the PDF sheets that are located on the YouTube page, and then you can follow along with what we do. So hopefully it'll work out really well, and uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'd like to check out is a song called Scuttle Button, and I see a lot of lessons where they kind of teach you these notes incorrectly. So <laughs> let's go over it. Okay, so let's slow that one down a bit and give you more of a zoom view so you can get a better idea of what's going on. The first note we're going to play is a bend on the second fret of the G string, and then open B, open E, open B again. The next thing we need to do is play the third fret of B and slide it up to five. So here's what we have so far. Now we need to do kind of a descending blues line. It starts from the open high E string, three of B, open B, and then a pull off, three, two, and zero on G. So, and right here on the D string, I just hit the second and then the open string. So, now we hit the ever famous low E. And the chord we need to play is called an E7 sharp 9. Now you'd play that by playing a regular open E chord. And your pinky needs to kind of do double duty here. It needs to hit the 3 of B and 3 of high E at the same time. So let's uh, do that riff in its entirety just a bit slower. So hopefully this helps. Let's go on to the next one. Now I'll kind of show you two typical riffs that you may find in some of Steve Ray Vaughan's solos. Now he played so many amazing things it would take days and weeks to discuss them all. So let's just choose two of them. Uh, we're going to be in the key of A. So for this first one we are going to make use of the pentatonic scale of the key of A. Okay, so on this one, let's slow that down. We start on a high A with your first finger. Pinky on the 8th fret of B. First finger on 5th fret. Now this move involves bending the 7 of G, coming back down, pulling off to the 5th fret all in one pick. Then you're going to pick the 7th fret of D. So just by picking twice, you hear four notes. And that's your last note, 5 of G. The next one I'll show you is a bit farther up on the neck. We're still going to be in the key of A, but now this one involves playing the 10th fret of high E and bending it. So it sounds like an E note that would be on the 12th fret. But, but instead of coming all the way back down, which is fine, he might come down just a tiny bit off the top of that note, like this. You hear the difference? And here's this one. So that about wraps it up for this lesson. And I'd like to say at this time, uh, if you subscribe to the learnin2.com page, it'll let you know when a new lesson is posted, which will be about every two weeks or so. And there's also a contest coming up where you could enter and win three free one-hour guitar lessons with me over at Five Towns. And we should have a pretty good time. So uh, until next time.